Okay, in this episode we're looking at unwrapping and we need to do that in order to texture. If you want to learn about unwrapping then I'd suggest you look at this video in the card at the top right corner now. This is meant as a guide to unwrapping a face so it assumes that you have a reasonable knowledge of Blender. So the first thing we need to look at in the multi-resolution modifier is applying our base. If I go to edit mode now you can see the base might be slightly different depending on how much work you've done in your sculpt. So back to sculpt mode, apply base, and that will modify your base to take into account the sculpts you've done on the higher levels. I'm gonna turn the matte cap off and go into edit mode and begin marking my seams. In this case, I want to separate the head from the shoulders. So I'll mark a seam there. And for the shoulders, I'll do a very basic unwrap and cut them in half like this. So mark seam, so we'll have that section and that section. Now for the head, I'm gonna mark the middle seam and then select C and get rid of these middle sections here. We'll go up to about there, I think, and here. And mark seams. So we've now got a seam going all the way up the top there and down the front here. I'll grab a few under his chin as well because we've got a natural crease there and we won't really be able to see it. So I'll mark some seams there. And around the ears. So I'll come in here, up round here. Perhaps I'll do this with the C. So this is circle select with the C key, across here and down here. Control E, mark seam. I'm gonna go across here, mark seam, and get rid of this seam here. And you can always try out your seams by selecting all with the A key, unwrapping, and opening up your image editor. And that's not too bad. There's a fair bit of work we'll need to do inside here, but first we'll need to give it a texture so we can see what's going on on our model. So let's open up the node editor, create a new image in here. I'm gonna call it grid. And choose UV grid. Now I've got to add that texture in here. So add an image texture, select my grid and link it up. Now when I go to textured mode, you can see the texture in here. Now you can see that it's got problems because anywhere where the squares are big means I haven't got many pixels to paint on. So all the pixels are quite big here, but they're small here. And round the back here, they're fairly small. And ideally, I want these ones to be small and the ones where I want less detail, so I'm not as interested in perhaps the back of the head, for example, and the shoulders in this case, I want them to be bigger. So the detail should be around the face. So what we'll need to do is edit our shapes in here. So these four sections across the top here um, are the shoulders and they're not as important. So I'll move those to the top out of the way. So select one vertices, press L and G to grow. Okay. And obviously I want more detail in here. So I'll grab that and I'll scale it up. Can you see the, the shapes on my model getting smaller as I scale up? And I'll grab that and put it in the middle. There's still some work to do. If I deselect everything and use the circle select, I can select a few middle faces, turn proportional editing on, which is across here. O is the shortcut and press scale and circle it and use my wheel mouse to scale it up a bit. And there I'm making them a bit smaller. It's a very simplistic way, but it's a good place to start. At this point, it's a good idea to go in and start selecting single vertices and still with proportional editing turned on, but make sure you scroll in to see the sphere of influence. And then you can start pulling them out like this. G to grab, so you just select points and pull them out. And slowly, I'm starting to get more pixels so I can add more detail to these areas, as we can see over here. What you do have to be a bit careful of is this sort of thing where it's stretching. That can be quite awkward to paint on, so be aware of that. It's on the neck, so it shouldn't matter too much.
Okay, so that's basic unwrapping. In the next section, we'll be texturing. Thanks for watching.